We're on, we double check everything. Restart my uh, fuck. Yeah, restart the YouTube, like just the whole thing in general, the app itself, and then I'll uh, go back to it. Sometimes you gotta do that. Start it. Hold on, real quick. It says there's somebody um, watching. Hey, can you leave a comment just to uh, to let us know that we know we're we're live right now? Baba Kusha Akim, who's ever uh, listening right now? If you are listening, yes, yeah, it, it says it's on. All right, cool. All right, um, all right. You know, first and foremost, you know, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And yeah, as you uh, can see on the title, you know, it, it says, you know, you know, we're winning, they're losing. All right. So, you know, this is just like an exhortation, you know, for, you know, Aki, hey, just remember that hey, these people are, are not winning anymore, okay? Hey, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, this society is crumbling right before our eyes. Okay, and we should be uh, uh, joyful. Okay, we should be uh, happy about these things. Okay, we shouldn't be in a low spirit. Our spirit should actually be boosting more and more, man. Okay, yes, you know, we all go through our, you know, day to day, you know, um, uh, hell. But look, man, they, we're catching hell. Guess what? They're catching hell too, man. And it's only going to uh, worsen for them. Ours is actually going to lighten up, man. Okay, but um, can you actually start off with that scripture in uh, that Corinthians? I think it was the first Corinthians 7 and 31. We'll start off uh, with that, and then we'll probably get to John, and you know, we'll hop around through the spirit. Okay, this is first Corinthians chapter 7, 31. Yeah, 31. It yep. says, verse 31, and they that use this world is not abusing it. For the fashion of this world passes away. So the main point is it says right there, the fashion of this world passes away. And when you look up that word fashion, it's basically talking about all the things in this particular society. Okay? You know, whether it be money, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, the mirth. Okay? All of that. All right? The folly. This society is crumbling. As you can see it. All right? But, you know, you, no one has jobs anymore. People are afraid. That they're about to lose their job okay yeah. uh you look at the mirth right you you it's so bad out here you have uh concerts now um a live streaming on um you know on a uh, television you know like uh I, I saw something like that they're basically gonna have these uh entertain entertainers perform but there's gonna be no audience all right. you look at all these basketball games all right these mma fights there's no audience man it's just the, the the athletes or the musicians, and that's it. That's terrible, man. Out here in Chicago, you know, in the summertime, we always have you know festivals, you know, um, these uh, block parties on the major um, uh, streets. Okay, all these things to do, and none of that was uh, happening this year. Yeah. This place is through. Elder Barak called it a uh, glorified, a, a, glor a glorified practice. <laughs> you know, the the basketball games and the football games. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no audience. You know, they had to put in those those sound clips to, so people could get excited. Because the audience is what makes the, those games hyped up, hype mm -hmm. up the players. You know, the audience is what makes it. You know, but now the Lord is bringing down this, the, the mirth to this place, man. Yep. That's uh, in the scriptures uh, as well. Was it Isaiah, I think, 24? I grabbed that real quick. Um, this is Isaiah 24. And uh, I'll start at 7. It says the new wine morning, okay, which that new wine is what? This American philosophy, this democracy, all right? Because really, it's not a, it's a death style. There's nothing productive, all right? 
there's nothing profitable about the American uh, way of life, okay? And it says, uh, New I'm morning, divine language, and all the merry hearted new side. And we see that, man. Hey, these people, they, they were uh, enjoying America, okay, for the longest, man. Even uh, uh, before COVID, even though, yeah, people were losing jobs and all that, they were still able to go, go to what, you know, the bars, all right, the clubs. They, they were able to go to the baseball game, do all these things, you know. But since COVID-19, uh, uh, you know, came about, all right, hey, did this uh, entire system has shut down, basically, all right. And it says here, um, the mirth of the tabers ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep going. It says, they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. So people aren't drinking to have a good time anymore. People are drinking to get away from their problems, and which is only causing more problems because why? They're now an addict, okay? That makes them more depressed. At first, it may give them a little bit of joy, all right, to numb the pain, but in reality, it actually makes them more depressed because once they get off of that, you know, that high, so to speak, okay, now reality kicks in and they got to face it. They just like these people that want to get accepted, this LGBTQ community and all these other people that, that, that try to, to accept them. They don't even accept themselves. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and, and first of all, they don't even accept themselves. And a lot of them are OD. You yeah. know, they over the, why? Because they're at the end of the day, they're miserable. Yep. You know, they hate their lives. They know that their, their way of living is not the way. At, deep down, they know that what they're doing is wrong, man. That's right. But they fulfill the lust of the flesh, man. This world. Mm -hmm. You know? Got a little more. It says, uh, verse, this is uh, Isaiah 24 and 10 now. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. And this is the city of confusion. This is Babylon the Great. Okay? Because Babylon, which, you know, when you break that word down, it goes into the word Babal in the Hebrew, which means confusion. And this cl place is clearly the city of confusion. That's right. Everything's all backwards and upside down. Whatever thing that comes to, whatever you want to uh, do, whatever uh, wicked thought that comes to your mind, you can do it here, man. And, and it's accepted. And, and then if you, if people um, don't accept it, they have an opinion about it. Now the rest of the world is gonna basically uh, um, uh, smear smear their name, man. You know, they're gonna blackball them. I got a scripture for that. Nope. Isaiah five and twenty it says, "Woe unto them! They call evil good, and good for light, and light for darkness." They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Mm. You know, they they, they uh, um, legalize bestiality, you know, homosexuality and all this, all types of uh, 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 abominations. But uh, here, preaching this word, you know, the righteous man standing in great boldness, they, they try to demonize that, man. Mm -hmm. And here, it, 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 these are words coming stri uh, strictly out the Bible, man. The same Bible that they pick up in these churches, man, that they so-called believe in, oh. you know? But once these words come out, it says the wicked man flee with no, uh, uh, yeah, with no man. wicked flee with no man pursue it. These people, they, they, they scatter, man. When, when the lights come out, we're like roaches, man. You know why? Because it brings, it's really because they gotta take accountability, and they don't have, they don't have, they don't have it. They don't yeah. have what it takes, man. They rather hide in their shame, man. Mm -hmm. Like the brother said, these people are, they, they really lost, man. These people are really losing. Mm -hmm. You can see it in their face, man. The oh, yeah. The brother posted earlier a video of uh, downtown Chicago. He saw was swarm that he they swarmed that place. You think it was a riot fest? You yeah. know how many Edomites was in, in that video? And now shit, and, and, and the pride and, and the look in their face. But now you look, you look downtown, it, it's dead. Yeah. The spirit is gone. It's dead. Yeah, I, I followed this one page on Instagram. It's uh, called Historic Chicago, and they have you know photos from you know basically since cameras were you know invented. And they were just showing stuff from 40s, 50s, 60s, even before that. But, like, you look at those, you know, um, photos because they're a little bit uh, better in picture, you know, and they're in color. And like how you said, that you, you couldn't even move if you were in downtown, you know? All right. Now, it's literally a ghost town in, in Chicago, in downtown Chicago. It's a literal ghost town, okay. you know? And it says it right here. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And this, you know... It could go into martial law, but even just how 
this place is just shutting down. The, the doors are closing. Okay. There's abandoned yep. buildings in downtown Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about prime real estate. We're talking about the center of downtown. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about all of the outskirts. You know, maybe at you know at the very end of downtown, maybe where people don't want to necessarily buy. We're talking about the center of downtown, man. Uh, something called uh, um, see out here we have two major uh, streets in downtown called State Street and Michigan Avenue. Okay, these are uh, top uh, real estate, and these were the, the the spots where everyone would shop. If you weren't on State Street, you were on Michigan. And now you got uh, um, you know uh, for sale signs for lease. You know, uh, these um, people who own the building are trying to get companies to, to, to you know, uh, set up shop there. But it's not happening. Because there's no money to be made anymore. You know? Sorry. I got a little more. Verse 11. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. And that wine, this wine now, is talking about the, the truth. Okay? And then it's getting to a point where people are going to want answers. And a lot of people aren't going to get them. Because when they had an opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, seek the truth and to get right and to, to learn this knowledge, they rejected it. Yeah. So when that time comes where, you know, they, they want to um, now try to find the truth because there's the famine of the word, they're not going to find it. It says that in Amos, the 8th chapter, the 12th verse, they're going to go from sea to sea, you know, yeah. while wandering, trying to find, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, this word. And as it says in Amos, the 5th chapter, I think the 13th verse talks about how the prudent man is going to keep silent because the days are evil. We're not going to be doing any talking anymore. We're doing the talking now. You know? Unless the spirit hops on us. Because, you know, there are going to be those of the elect that are going to come in literally the last moment. All right, but for the most part, nine times out of ten, you know, basically, we're not going to talk to you people on that day. There's no point. All right? But I'm going to keep reading. It says, um, there is crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And there's no mirth here. And you see it, man. And, that, and that's why, this is a reason why these people are losing. Because when you have a prosperous society, all right, there's a lot of entertainment going around. People are having a good time. They're having, you know, getting drinks, you know, uh, uh, dancing, enjoying, you know, uh, uh, vacations. You don't see that anymore. You don't see that. You see it what? Uh, increase in homelessness, an increase in drug use, increase in suicide. And that's because people don't know whether they're coming or going anymore. All right. All right. Um, well, yeah, we're going to hop into the next scripture. We can get um, with that uh, that first John. And you see, these people are losing, man. Uh, start, no, actually, really doesn't matter. I guess the fifth chapter. But yeah, th these people are losing, man. Is, uh, it's, a, it's a sign they're losing I and mean, we're winning see we've been expecting all this stuff you know and, and we're I mean, we're glad that Yahweh Bashim Yashah opened our eyes man you know well, you know uh, way before all, all this has happened I, I'm glad the Lord woke me up uh, you know it, it, it has been some time you know it, it took some you know well we're, we're just men you know because you know, we're in the flesh it, it, it seems like it took time really it's been going quickly but, um, you know, um, even though for lack of words, it, you know, it, it has taken time. It, it's finally here now. What does it say in Habakkuk 2? No, hey, get that, you know, get, let me get that real quick and then get that John. This is uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. This is what it says here. You know, and this is a scripture we always bring out. This is a heavy scripture, man. It's a lot here, man. Where's Habakkuk? Can you get it real quick? It's a lot, yeah, for some reason. Habakkuk 2. I got it. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, Habakkuk 2 and uh, and 3, straight to the point. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right, and those visions are talking about the prophecies. Okay, they have an appointed time. All right, the Lord has everything set up uh, 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 perfectly. And he's got everything's on a set schedule. Okay, things can't happen before. Things can't happen after. It's got to be at that specific time period. Then that uh, particular event's going to happen. All right. And it says here, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, which tarry means delay, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So these things are going to come to pass. All right. Everything that's written in the scriptures. And we've been waiting patiently. And now these things are coming to pass. That Isaiah the 24 chapter is coming to pass. 
all right, as we speak, all right, was that that Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter with the um, the jobs on uh, uh, the ceasing grinding, all these things. Mark of the beast. Like the, they, the mark of the beast, as Chip. the brothers talking, you know, I mentioned. We've been waiting for these things, man, and now these things are here, basically, man. All right. Saying, uh, the, the week, uh, what is it? The week say I'm strong. You know, these heathens rising up, rumors of war, yeah, earthquakes in diverse places. All, <laughs> all these things are, hey, are, are here, man. Yep. <laughs> and it's, hey, hey, you're laughing at which is beautiful because most people, they, they, they get scared. Right. They get anxious. You know what I mean? Hey, but the scriptures say that, that, um, that we're going to laugh, man, and they're going to mourn. That's See, right. we, we've been mourning and suffering and, and being on the low for so long. Yeah, and all these people were mocking us, laughing at us, yep. you know, uh, talking bad about us. See, now you're about to suffer, man. That's right. That's right. Hey, and they, <laughs> they get scared. Why? Because at the end of the day, they have no faith in the Lord. And they got to deal with the, the judgment. Exactly. The accountability. You see, in this society, going back to what you were talking about earlier about the accountability, they don't teach you that in this society. But the Lord's all about accountability. Mm -hmm. All right? And you're gonna have to pay for your your uh, wrongdoings, okay? You're gonna have to uh, f face the judge, man, which is Yahweh, you know, uh, through his son Yahweh Shah. You're gonna have to deal with that, okay? See, we're all gonna be in a courtroom, okay? At some point, every individual, in a spiritual courtroom, okay? And you're gonna, as it says in uh, uh, Revelation, the 22nd chapter, it talks about how uh, every man's gonna be judged according to his works, man, okay? See, we're looking, um, for that mercy That's right. where, where the Lord says you know what hey you, you didn't get in any trouble hey, you were trying to do right and hey, you were uh, doing uh, what was commanded of you you know what I'm going to give you a pass on this judgment okay I'm going to give you a pass but these people they're going to get that, that, that harsh cruel punishment man you know right. no hey the elect are winners man ultimately at the end of the day, the elect are, are the real winners, man. Not these people out here. That's right. All right. This is First John five and four. It says, "For whatsoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world." Yeah, and when we become what newborn babes. That's right. All right. Through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and the elect have always been um, uh, uh, the, the fir first fruits of the Lord. So we were, we've always, you know, Lord willing, we are part of the elect. All right, and who's ever listening, you no, know, we've always been. Um, you know that that uh, that special, uh, you know, people, okay, to the Lord. We always say this, you know. We, you have the nation of Israel, which is the elect nation. But you know, with even in the uh, with the elect people, there's an elect within the elect, mm -hmm. okay. Which is the one third, all right, starting with the hundred and forty-four thousand, okay. And those are the winners. That's right. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the Son of the Most High? Yeah, so we've already overcome this world, man, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It's already went, written that the elect is uh, the elect is going to win, no matter what what, um, what these people try to do, okay? What they try to you know uh, pin on us, so to speak. The elect is going to be justified. That's right. All right. The elect is going to be justified, and that's because, hey, the Lord, hey, as the scripture saying, I think it's in Exodus, the Lord is going to have mercy on whom He's going to have mercy on. All right. It's See, simple. Even that, uh, uh, you know, it says that you shall be hated for all men by for my name's sake. Hey, hey that's a good thing. <laughs> you know. That's right. Yeah. Got the yeah. Uh, First John four, uh, yeah. four and four says, "Ye are of the Most High." They're yep, talking about the elect. We're of the Most High. Keep going. It says, it "says Ye are of the Most High, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you." Yeah. So we've already overcome them, because Yahweh Shai is in us. Yahweh Ba Shai. That's right. Then, then He that is in the world. Yeah, and look, these people in the world, they're going to lose. Hey, we we ready. The fashion of this world is going to bypass. That's right. You know, uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Esau's the, the end of the world? 
And Jacob is a, uh, it, 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 you know, let me just get there. This is, uh, what is that, 2nd Ezra's right? 2nd mm -hmm. Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, okay? And that's the world that's bypassing away. That's the, that's the world that's, you know, coming to an end, all right? And look, the majority of the people are, are um, they're, they're in Esau's world, you know, uh, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually. They love uh, his rulership, okay? But you see the elect, you know, yeah, they may be in Esau's world physically, but mentally and spiritually, they departed, man. John 8 and 32. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, man. Sure. We've been spiritually uh, let go of this place. We yeah. broke free, man. And that's why Esau is mad. Because we're not um, engulfed in this place, engulfed in his system anymore. Right. We're looking for a brighter future. This place doesn't offer anything. Well, all it offers is death. Everything leads to death in this place. And we're looking for life. Right. You know? And it says, uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 9, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay? And we're just waiting on Yahweh to send Yahweh Shai to set up this kingdom. Alright? That's what we're waiting for. And if once Yahweh Shai is set up, what does it say? They, in Romans 8, I think in 17, it says that, you know, that we're joint heirs. So if we're joint heirs, that means we're going to be rulers. We're going to actually enjoy life, man. We're actually going to experience life. Because right now we're just surviving. We're going to actually experience life. We're going to be able to explore the world, okay? You know, all the, 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 the oceans and, and rivers, all the forest, okay? The mountains, the hills. These are just simple things, man. We're, we're able to, we're going to enjoy our family. We're going to be able to sit down with brothers and, and have, dr you know, real drinks and able to listen to, you know, real music. Yeah. Feel great. Not have to, you know, uh, be sad when we depart from one another. You know? Right. We actually enjoy enjoy our uh, ourselves, man. These people over here, hey, they they enjoy themselves now, but for, for what? They, they, they sold their souls and did wicked things for abominations, man. But I got a quick one. Yeah, come on. This is Luke 6 and 24. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, mm. for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that yeah, are that, fool. That consolation goes into basically uh, having that comfort, man. Yeah. And these people sell out, man. They'll sell out for anything, man, just to get a little comfort. Yeah. Or whether it be... Uh, uh, the reputation, you know, whether it be them getting a nice, you know, big fat paycheck, them getting some food stamps, you know what I mean? All these things, man. So a lot of niggas fall off the truth, you know, or, or lose their wits for women, man. Yeah. That's their comfort. <laughs> you know? This is so just then that woe goes into destruction. You're not, if you're an Israelite, you're not supposed to feel comfortable here. It says in, what is it, uh, Micah 2 and 10, this is not your rest. This place isn't our rest. All right? Yes, hey, look, we always say this too. If you have an opportunity to get a better job, okay, move into a better, you know, building or get a house, whatever it may be, if the opportunity arises, take it, all right? That, that could be a blessing from the Lord. Okay, you look at our some of our forefathers, they, they were in captivity, but they had some, you know, some carnal riches, yeah. but they weren't spiritually engulfed in it they they weren't right. entangled in that particular captivity and we shouldn't either man we shouldn't be entangled in this place man a place that's about to be destroyed before the even before the nukes hit man you're gonna have uh, uh martial law you're gonna have enforced vaccines enforced rfid chips riots warfare Diseases, man. Who, man? There's gonna be so much stuff going on here, man. Before the nukes hit, man. This place is gonna be eradicated from the inside out, man. All right. Come on, it's all good. What'd you have? Uh, Luke six twenty four. It's all good. No worries. This is uh Luke uh, chapter six and uh, what was it twenty four? Mm -hmm. It says, But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, 
for ye shall mourn and weep. And, and what the scripture say is that in that day my servant shall eat. You know, in that day my, my servant, he shall be thirsty, but my servant shall drink. You know, why? It's because, because we, hey, the truth says, um, well, well, put a mark upon, the, on the, uh, upon their heads for they sigh and cry, man. You know, for the, for the, for the abomination of that family, the rest of else what they over here uh, uh, you know for, for fulfilling the lust of the flesh you know enjoying their time here in, in their punishment man you know that's why they when things are when the lord comes back and says things are right these people are gonna they see it uh, uh learning by, uh, death by pain man yeah. and this is serious they, this ain't no joke this is this is a serious thing man Hey, the Lord, hey, a lot of these prophecies are already, hey, uh, are already fulfilled, man. You know, these people don't see it. Uh, hey, uh, people are, are, are unwise. They're wise to do evil. They rather really reject this knowledge. And, and the Lord said, I'm going to laugh during your calamity. Oh. I got this. Uh, Isaiah, quoted this Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. And this time we're talking to the two-thirds. Yeah. It says, because when I called, you did not answer. Okay, when I spake, you did not hear. And how, go on. You got and how, do you, how do you call, man? Through his prophets. That's right. He that receiveth you, receiveth me. He that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. At the end of the day, you're not rejecting us. You're rejecting the Lord. You know, he, stretched, he says, uh, 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 wisdom cries without... You know, she ordered her voice in the streets. And she placed the concourse. Mm. No. It says, no. It's like, it's like, yeah, I thought you were done. No. It says, uh, but did evil before my eyes and did not choose that wherein I delighted not. Hey, but they rather, they, they loathe the, the, the law, man. And these people would rather just go ahead and we'll go, they get mad because they can't eat pork and they can't uh, continue in uh, committing adultery. Smoking weed. Smoking weed. Know, uh, smoking all any type of thing, you know. These, these motherfuckers smoke all types of shit nowadays. They'll agree with everything. They'll get mad because God doesn't love everybody. Right? Yeah. They'll reject the knowledge just because in their heart they feel that everyone should be loved by the Most High. I know a dude that rejected because his girlfriend was like, "It was his stomach." Isaiah 65 and 13 now it says therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh behold my servant shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servant shall rejoice and ye shall be ashamed and that's what's uh gonna happen very soon these people are about to starve out here you know with uh, uh with these famines man you know yeah. Yeah. first off they're spiritually starving you know what I'm saying? They're spiritually dehydrated. Yeah. How you doing? Hello. You know? But eventually it's going to get physical too, man. Alright? It's going to eventually get physical. Alright? And uh, the, uh, the one brother uh, posted on the comment board right now, uh, Job 5 and um, five and 22, it says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. See, we're going to laugh in that day. And it's, uh, we're going to get the scripture in 2nd uh, Ezra. It's because we're going to have abundance. We're going to have abundance. We're not going to have to worry about the things that these people are going to have to deal with. See, because we're going to have those angels protecting us. The Lord is going to uh, uh, um, use them to, um, you know, to guide and protect the elect. And we're not going to have to worry about these things. Because, hey, the Lord can have manna rain, you know, rain down. You know, uh... Uh, have the uh, what was it the birds feed us like how uh, I think it was Elijah, Elijah the you know the, yeah Elijah. the ravens fed Elijah the Lord could, could, could do anything all right and, and, and will do anything yes. the Lord the Lord's gonna uh, perform miracles for us man and scripture says uh, he feeds a thousand of the air how much you know how much more are you you know roughly paraphrase you know cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you it says neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the field it says, for, they, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Whoa, well, hey, we're going to be cool on that day, man. 
Daniel in the light. Nope. Because you're going to have wild you know, animals come about, man. Uh, you know, intense predators, man. They're, 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 they're there to, what, shoot off the women. But for us, they, they may protect us. They may give us a, you know, a pass, so to speak. Because it's really the Heavenly Father, you know? We're not going to have to worry about these things like these people, man. These people are losing, man. I, that's all I keep thinking about. They're losers. Right, they're gonna go from, they're gonna escape the bear, or run into the lion, yeah. escape the lion, and, and run into the house, and then let a serpent bite his hand. <laughs> yeah. No matter what, trouble's coming their way. Trouble's coming their way, man. You know? I got this uh, in 2nd Ezra's chapter. Yeah, 2nd Ezra 2 and 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. And the reason why is because the Lord has already bought the elect, man. The, uh, the elect has already been purchased, okay? And the Lord is just waiting for them to be gathered together. That's it. And how are they being gathered? By the word. That's in Baruch. All right? We're just, you know, waiting on, uh, uh, you know, Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, and the elect, man, are just waiting on, you know, the rest of the elect are just waiting on, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the rest of the you know, the brothers and sisters who need to wake up right now. We already won. What? We already won. Yeah. We already won. Once that gets fulfilled, once all the elect members, you know, hear this work, it's game over, man. Okay? It's over. You no? Know? Exactly. It's ready. It's ready game. Exactly. Hey, man. We're basically, uh, this game's rigged, man. Yeah. And it just so happens that we're on the winning side. That's right. You know? Follow your muscles, we have a great power, man. Yeah, we got punished, man. We got our ass whooped. But the Lord's about to exalt us, man. He's about to um, exalt those that are abased, man. That's right. And, uh, and abase those who have been exalted, as the scriptures say. That's right. You know? I'm going to keep reading. It says, verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Mm. Really think about that. Hey, when that, hey, that, that time of Jacob's trouble comes, that day of darkness and gloominess, these people are about to, you know, take major L's, man. They're going to be weeping and mourning. We're going to be, uh, have, what did it say there? We're going to have, uh, we're going to be merry and have abundance. It's going to be like in that movie, The Road. All right, and that one scene where they um, they basically uh, find that um, that one uh, I think it was like the, that farm, and they had like a like a bunker in it, and they went down into the bunker, and they had you know a, a bunch of canned goods, oh, yeah. water, yeah. wine, uh, you, well, you know that's going off, but you know he had you know cigars in there, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, and everything soaked, all that, and they were doing good, man. That's what's gonna happen for the elect, man. Hey, we're gonna be good, man. We're gonna be balling, man. All right. A lot of these people, I, I believe that the ones that, the ones that don't have the money for it, or the ones that don't, the ones that do, the only ones that, man, the Lord's been on the spirits of creating underground bunkers and investing all these things. Just saying, up for the brothers, man. For oh yeah. Definitely. Oh, that shit, we're gonna stumble upon that, man. That's right. Hey, that's why he will feed us in that day. Yep, and it says, uh, the heathen shall envy thee. And that's even two-thirds, because they're heathens right now. Yeah. They're going to envy us. And it says, but they shall not. It says, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. And they're going to have no might in that day, man. You see, right now, they're able to, you know, you know, maybe fire us. And falsely accuse us, throw us in jail. Have us deal with the legal system. Okay? You know, uh, smear our name. Okay, our reputation. Hey, they're able to do this now, man. But when that day comes, man, these people are going to have no power. No. And then they're, they're going to be, um, they're going to be so mad. They're going to be weeping. Because they're going to be like, damn, these are the ones that we had in derision. Was that in uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5? You All see? Right. They're going to be mad about it. They're, they're going to regret the things that they've uh, done. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit them in that day. See, everything is going to um, hit these people eventually, man. You know, right now they think that they're getting the victory, man. 
damn jokes. People are these people are jokes out here, man. You know? <laughs> Clowns, bro. Man, I wish you, I wish you had the uh, notes. I don't even know what else I uh, have right now. Oh, you all probably ended off with that. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> The Lord's with you. The Lord's with you. You can be a guest. Yeah. That's right. Well, yeah, we'll end it off with this Ecclesiastes 3. Um, it says, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And we're going to jump down to uh, verse 4. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. And you see right now, you know, we, we've been, you know, weeping. We, we're in the house of uh, uh, mourning, as the scriptures say. We, we've been getting our asses whooped, man. You know, we're vexed by this society. Right. Hey, but we're slowly turning more and more into joy. And why is that? We're seeing the downfall of our enemy. That's right. What is that, in that Sirach? He uh, talks about the... the it's Sirach and it's Psalms. Damn, yeah. But Khan. That one in Sirach where it talks about you're going to rejoice when you see the downfall of your enemy? Yeah. Hey, we're happy about this, man. We're happy that shit is going down, man. And that it's getting harder and harder out here. Uh -huh. We've been waiting for these things to come because we understand that before um, the kingdom of heaven must come, destruction must come to this land first, this place, uh -huh. this whole system. Esau, Edom's kingdom. All right? And I'm going to... Um, this is Ecclesiastes uh, 3, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to jump down to six. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. And look, you know, we've been um, in a time of losing for some time. All right? But now we're in that time of getting. Getting what, man? That big W, man. Right. That big uh, uh, that big win. All right? We're about to get the victory. Shit, we already have the victory. We already read it in that John, our first John. You know, both the fourth and fifth chapter said it. Okay, we're just waiting for things to play out now. Got you know, true. Yep. All right. So that's basically it, though. Um, yeah, man. And look, we're about to get the kingdom, man. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Yahweh to come back, save us, and then with our salvation, we come what the glorification, the dominion, the strength, the rulership. Yeah, the brother. Hey, Jerusalem hey, is, is a people for a place. That's right. Hey, the brother, uh, GMS, it's time too. He posted that scripture in uh, Sirach 25 and 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. That's right. You know? Call all your That's right. You see Esau falling. Two thirds, heathens. Yeah, our enemies. <laughs> is, you know, these curses being put on, on these people, man. Yep. And we see it, man. They're losing, man. Look, we're living in beautiful times, man. Exciting times. <laughs> <laughs> call along, oh, lie, help us me outside. That's right. But uh, hey, you know, we'll just probably end it with that, right? Uh, Anything else? You know, hey, hopefully this was edifying. Hey, Akim. Hey, um, hopefully this boosted your spirit. Hey, uh, take no heaviness to heart, as the scriptures say. Hey, have a positive mind frame, man. Mindset. Don't be thinking about the negatives all the damn time, man. Right. Think about the positives, okay? Enough of that, you know, that, that woe is me spirit. All right? That's right. Start rejoicing, all right? You know? It's about to be our time, you know? And with that, you know... We're going to end it off and, you know, we're going to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Also, double honors to the apostles and the Holy Spirit Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Take that too.